If you've lost count of the number of technology exhibitions in China this year, one thing is certain: AI has featured in them all. This past summer, cloud computing overtook satellite for the first time to broadcast the Olympics, and AI is also being widely used. One very simple example: participants could simply use this Animate Anyone AI tool to create a 10-second video of themselves playing a sport in a specific Olympic venue, let's say the Eiffel Tower. The tool attracted over 10,000 participants and created many cherished memories at Paris 2024. But what else can AI do? How about a robot that recommends healthy tea varieties based on people's physical condition? As China becomes an aging society, a robot could replace caregivers in pushing wheelchairs and serving tea and water. In the future, we also expect it to develop other functions based on physical therapy methods from traditional Chinese medicine. There are countless robots with humanoid appearances, but their level of sophistication has developed unevenly. In contrast, cars are different. Electric vehicles powered by AI unanimously provide people with a sense of simplicity, but innovators say even this could be improved. Some are now considering modifications to the screen. People are already used to using touch screens, but we know very well that if you sit in the driver's seat, it's obviously unreasonable to touch and operate the screen while driving. In the future, interactions in the car will definitely change. Voice control will replace touch. The screen will be a presentation carrier, not an operation carrier. Shuttling between different cloud computing and AI pavilions, the innovative power of this tech town in Hangzhou is clear. It was the birthplace of East China's cloud computing industry and remains the urban brain of the city. Today, this small town has a mission to unite even more computing power to meet the growing market demand for intelligence and digitalization. Wu Jiaxin, CGTN, Hangzhou.